now I am joined by some representatives of Young Life. Uh, first of all, let's start with introductions. Introduce yourself. Hello there. My name is Eddie Cromwell. I'm in 12th grade. I'm a senior at Lake Orion High School, and um, I've been a part of Young Life for four years, so since like freshman year. Wow, okay. Hello, I'm Scott Martin. I am a sophomore at Lake Grand High School, and I've been a part of Young Life for two years. And I'm Mihailo Janewski, and I'm a senior at Lake Orion High School, and me and Eddie have both been a part of it for four years. So tell us what Young Life is, and how did you get involved initially? Yeah, so Young Life is um, like a super cool thing. Um, it's held, or it can be held in like different places, but usually the like ideal gist of it is that um, Young Life's a group of kids that um, meet together and there's like leaders involved too and they're super great and what we do is um, there's campaigners and campaigners is like a Bible study group we usually meet on um, Sunday nights and then um, there's club and club is basically like a hangout and at that point it's like super fun there's games and stuff we usually go to Culver's after and that's like an outreach and it's something that everyone can be involved with and bring their friends and then there's camp which is like super cool as well and we usually go over the summer and it's a lot of fun. So you found out about it when you were a freshman, how, did, how was it brought to your attention? How did you find out about this organization? Yeah, so um, my parents, they, um, they actually were in Colorado on a like whitewater rafting canoe trip and our person like heading our canoe was involved in Colorado and he was telling us about it and I think the Lord just put on my parents heart we should start something like this in Lake Orion and at that point it was able to be started through like a parent committee and I know Mihailo and Scott's parents are on the committee as well mm -hmm. and through that they were able to like hire leaders and then um, Young Life was able to be born in Lake Orion. So your family helped create this chapter, I guess you would call it, here in Lake Orion? Yes. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. How did you find out about it? I found out about it. My mom, actually, his younger brother is one of my best friends. So my mom found out through that when I was uh, going into freshman year. And then my mom got in contact with his mom. And then that's how I found out about it. And I went one Sunday. And I didn't really like it at first. But when the first <laughs> club came around, I started to enjoy it more and more. And now it's such a cool place. Why did you get involved with it, and what do you get out of it? So, I, me and Eddie were actually part of the first group of people to ever go. Wow. My parents also helped start it along with his parents. So, I mean, it's helped me in a lot of ways. Like, I've met so many people and a lot of friends through it. And even if it's, you don't go for religious reasons, there's a lot of people that you can hang out with. And I know, like, a lot of my brother and a lot of his friends who go, and it's like their whole friend group has it's really helped them throughout high school making a friend group and having people that they can always go to mm. yeah you know there's so much negativity in the world today that I'm always you know in search of positive things do you feel that's what this group offers is kind of a sanctuary where you can get together with positive people yes for sure and I think the cool thing is like it's like all the kids from like Lake Orion High School and at that point it's like if you're able to like create a community at that point you were able to just go along with life or through life with people it just makes that much better and it gives you hope and it's great in that way that's awesome one thing i want to add on to that real go quick ahead. is um i remember when we had the oxford shooting we we actually had club that day and we're swimmers so we found out this was we were supposed to have swim practice that day and then we went to his house and we were supposed to have our thing called club that day and then that got canceled and then we just hung out in the barn where we go to for the entire time. So, and that brought us like closer together because that was a big moment that impacted, I think, us three here. That's awesome. So you meet every Tuesday at s the very specific time of 7.58 p.m. Where do you meet? Where's the location? So we meet actually at the Cromwell's house. They, they have a, a big property at their house and they, we actually built or they built a barn at their house and we meet at the barn every single week. And How many people you say make up the group right now? Every um, Tuesday we probably have around 50 to 60 people oh there and then Sunday nights it's a smaller group and we probably have like 30 people there. Okay. 
Wow, that's impressive. So you have a big fundraiser coming up. This sounds pretty darn entertaining. Uh, tell me about the Donut Dash 5K. Yes, yeah, so the Donut Dash 5K is, um, it's like the third annual, I believe, and at that point, um, there's a 5K run, and all the kids are able to, and parents, and grandparents. There's actually a 70 plus age group, if anyone who'd like to be involved with that. And there's, it's on April 20, or sorry, May 20th at eight o'clock, and it'll be at Yates Cider Mill. And the cool thing is that there's a lot of donuts there. <laughs> and donuts are so great. And especially after finishing a run, and a great way to reward yourself is with a donut. And <laughs> there are lots of donuts, which is super great. And then there'll be prizes given out to like the winners of like each age group. And then um, there'll also be a winner of the best costume. So yeah, I saw here people are encouraged to dress in donut costumes. Have, has that happened? What are you seeing in uh, the past couple of years? Oh yes, it has happened. <laughs> and there have been some very quality <laughs> donut <laughs> costumes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, my one friend even got um, sh like shorter shorts of donuts, which was uh, <laughs> very festive. You know, I've never run a 5K, but I will have to admit that I might be inspired to run a 5K if there are donuts at the end. That's a great way to get you in there. Uh, and so it acts as a fundraiser. In what ways does this fundraiser help your organization? What types of things does your organization do in the community? So. One of the big things that we have this year is every summer that we have, we have something, we have a camp that we go to. And this summer it's at Timberwolf Lodge up north. And a lot of kids go there and they bring their friends and a lot of the money goes to send these kids to camp who maybe don't have the money mm. or cannot pay for it. And, and then it also go, goes towards our clubs that we do every Tuesday night and fundraising the fun things that we do there and mm -hmm. the, all the food that we bring. That's fantastic. So I'm, I'm guessing the location is what gave the 5K its name because it starts at Yates Cider Mill. That's how the 5K got its name? Yeah, I mean, it was super great that <laughs> they were able to like let us do it there. But yeah, it just it fits the name very well. That's yeah. awesome. Now, Canterbury Village is such a beautiful location. Does the 5K take place within Canterbury Village or does it go out along Joslin Road? What's, what's the course like? It starts like right next to Yates, I believe. Like right there, there's like that little town area. It starts like at the very end of that, and then you go out like towards the road there. Yeah, and then you like turn left on Joslin, mm -hmm. like coming out of Yates, and then you'll go down like Joslin Road to like kind of like the dog park, and then at that mm -hmm. point you can turn around and then um, make it back, and that'll be 3.1 miles. That's great. That's great. So, and so you mentioned you touched on. Uh, Talk about the Young Life Camp at Timberwolf Lake. Elaborate a little bit more about that. So what do you know about that? I can, I can do that. So it's like a big camp. I went to one last year, which is actually at Missouri. But it's where a bunch of like Young Life organizations, like from all around the U.S., uh, they're going to come here to uh, Timberwolf and get to experience camp along with us. And we get to just meet new kids we've never met before from different Young Lives. And see some kids we know as well, which is uh, super cool, and we do a lot of activities there. Where in Michigan is uh, Timberwolf Lake? It's, I don't know. Might have to use your map. Your yeah. Michigan. Um, I, I would <laughs> say like here, I oh, think, okay. maybe. Wow. It, it okay. is more north, <laughs> but wow. yes. Yeah, and the cool thing is like, the camp's like super great, and like honestly, it's like a very quality camp too. It's not like you're, tents camping like there's like lodges and oh, wow. the food that they have is like really good and I would say like even the dessert <laughs> quality <laughs> and what types yeah. of things do you do is there you know boating swimming there's all that swimming sort of stuff? at a beach you can play volleyball they have go-karts there and then the swing is what it's called oh yeah there's a, yeah, giant, there's swing. a giant swing mm -hmm. zip lining basketball courts foosball wow, lots it's of like you. rock wall climbing everything that you can imagine they have there. So that takes place June 26th through July 1st, heading into 4th of July weekend there. So that sounds like a lot of fun. And so how many people do you expect to attend the camp? I mean, you said people are coming in from all over the country? I would say around four, or yeah, like 400, wow. I would say. 
that's fantastic. Yeah. And then I think we're thinking we'll have like maybe around 30 to 40 kids will come from Lake Orion yeah. or even more, which is super cool. That's awesome. So if you were to try and uh, recruit more members to your organization, what would you say to them? Why would someone want to join Young Life? Um, I would say that they should join Young Life because there's something to knowing like that there's people who um, want to know about Jesus in your community and being able to like know that there's people who like want to know more about Jesus and just like need a friend. Mm -hmm. Young Life is like perfect for that and we have like leaders in Young Life and they're literally like the best like adult young adults that you could like ever have and they're like super cool to hang out with and Honestly, it's to the point where like my life wouldn't be the same if I didn't have young life and mm. I look at people different and it's it's such a great impact in my life and like I wouldn't have known Scott and I don't think I would have been as close to Mihail if I never had young life and it's just something that is near and dear to my heart and I just I mean from what I know there's young life in college so I'll be <laughs> involved with that. With it. That's yeah. great. What about you guys? What would you say to someone and encourage them to join? Uh, I'd probably tell them around the same thing. I normally take my approach first with like club, because that's to like start to bring people, and then we want to get them to campaigners, and then eventually try to get them with club to camp as well to sign them up there, because they advertise it uh, every week. So I normally tell them like, hey, come to club. We're going to Culver's after. There's gonna be fun activities there, and yeah. That's great. How about you? I mean, I would just grab my friends and ask them to hang out like any other regular day. Hey, do you want to go hang out? And then we'll go grab food after because who doesn't love food? So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would just approach it like a regular hangout because that's, that's what it is. We all just hang out and then go grab a bite to eat afterwards. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So if someone did want to get involved, uh, how do they go about doing it? You have website, social media, all that stuff? Um, yeah, so there's a Young Life Instagram page and... Um, with that, you can also sign up for the 5K, and they'll be telling them more about Young Life there too. And you can go to um, mi277 at Young Life Events slash Lake Orient Young Life, and at that point you'll be able to get to learn more about what Young Life is, and it's super cool in that way. Great, yeah, and I see here uh, Lake Orient Young Life dot org. Uh, and you're also on Facebook, so they can get a hold of you that way too, right? Great. <coughs> Anything else you want to add before we wrap it up? The donut dash is fun, and <laughs> even if you can't run, you can walk, and it's that much greater. And there's so many people that you can meet there, and it's super cool in that way. Yeah, it's such a good time. I definitely recommend doing it. So you can meet new people, and you can walk it, and you still, either way, get a donut afterwards. So <laughs> it's Actually, worth it. You get multiple donuts. Oh, yeah. It's there not just go. one donut. So that's Saturday, May 20th, starting at 8 a.m. at Yates Cider Mill in Canterbury Village. Sounds like a good time. Let's hope the weather is nice by then, uh, not <laughs> snowing like it is right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, guys, thanks for coming out. Thanks for sharing the message. And, yeah, thanks uh, for having good us. Good luck with the uh, donut dash. Thank yes, you. Thank you.